And so here we have, we're revisiting something that we've already looked at in a table. The numbers are going to be a little bit different though. So here's a graph that tells me the rate uh, that my bear population is changing over three years. So what this graph tells me is that at year zero, my number of bears is increasing by 10 bears per year. At year one, the number of bears is increasing by 20 bears per year. And maybe at year, at year two also, the number of bears is increasing by 20 bears per year. And so what I want to do is I want to estimate the total change in my bear population over these three years. Now how are we going to do that? So remember when we had velocity and we were trying to go to distance, we looked at the area under the velocity curve. And we're going to do the same thing here. And we're going to look at another way to do it. We're going to do it by drawing rectangles. We're going to draw by, do it by drawing rectangles that underestimate the area and rectangles that overestimate the area. So specifically, for my underestimate, I'm going to draw three rectangles. A rectangle that has a, this as a base, that has a 0 to 1 as a base. A rectangle that has 1 to 2 as a base. And a rectangle that has 2 to 3 as a base. And so the way I'm going to choose my heights is I'm just going to go up to the lowest part in this area. So here, in between 0 and 1, the lowest part is right here. And so that's going to be my rectangle 1. Now my rectangle 2, the lowest height in this area, it goes all the way up to here. right? And so that will be the height of that rectangle. And then finally, my third rectangle is actually going to look very similar to my first. right? The, the shortest area here is there. And so if I add up the area of these three rectangles, I will get an underestimate of the area underneath the curve, right? I'm missing counting all this area. And so the area of the first rectangle will be one year times 10 bears per year for a total of 10 bears. So basically what we're saying is in, in the very least, over the first year, my bear population increased by 10 bears. Now, my area 2 will be similar. It'll be one year, but that'll be times, what's the height of this rectangle? It's 20 bears per year. And so it'll say between, during, during, between years 1 and 2, I increased by at least 20 bears. And then year three is going to actually be the same calculation as the first one. And so to get the total change um, in the bear population, I just add these three numbers together, right? And so I will get, um, use a new color here, I will get a total of 40 bears. And this is my underestimate. Right? So what about an overestimate? How would I overestimate that? Well, I'm going to use the same three intervals, except the way I'm going to pick my height is I'm going to pick the highest thing in the interval. So in between 0 and 1, the highest number I could pick would be right here. And so that'll be my first rectangle that I use. I will calculate this area. The second rectangle that I use, the highest point that I could pick is right here. Right. So the second rectangle I use, it'll be between these It'll be this area that I'm calculating. And then the third rectangle will be very similar to the first again. It will be right here. And so without writing out all the text I wrote down in that first one, area 1 will be 1 year times 20 bears per year gives me 20 bears. Area 2 will be 1, bear, one year times about 23 bears per year for a total of 23 bears between years two and three that my population increased. And then from, um, oops, and after fixing that color, I can say that over year three, over one year, increasing by 20 bears per year gives me 20 bears. So in total, my overestimate says that my bear population would have increased by 20 plus 20 plus 23, which is 63 bears. And so both of these, I'm just trying to get a good estimate to the area underneath the curve, right? So let me draw a separate curve here. So I'm trying to get a good estimate for this area right here, right? 
And so what I'm doing is I'm getting an overestimate to the area that I'm coloring in right now. And here, I'm getting an underestimate to the area that I'm coloring in. And now I'm going to take the average. So the average is going to be 40 plus 63 divided by 2, which will be 103 divided by 2 bears. So again, all we're doing is they're giving us a graph of the rate of change. And we're taking that graph of the rate of change and getting the total change by calculating the area underneath the curve. And we're doing an underestimate and an overestimate for that. And then we're taking the average as our final answer.